So in this week's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create uh, an elegant style badge sort of logo like you see here on my screen. Uh, this is something I've used myself on my own website. If you take a look here, I don't use it as my logo, but I, I do use it as a graphic overlay. I think it makes a nice little overlay on this backdrop. And it's a style that I think really communicates uh, quality and attention to detail. And I'm going to show you how to make this same exact graphic here today. So let's go ahead and open up an, um, a new canvas in Inkscape. Once you open it up, go to View. Make sure you have Custom selected. Zoom. Let's go to Zoom 1 to 1. And let's go to File, Document Properties. And let's uncheck these two boxes and then close that out. And then come over here to where it says Align and Distribute. We're going to open that menu up. And then we're going to come over here to the Edit Objects, Colors, and Gradients button. We're going to click on that to open up that menu. And down here in the Align and Distribute menu, make sure you have Last Selected chosen from the list. We want to work with Last Selected here. So, All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a circle. We're going to click on this button to create a circle. Hold down Control and Shift on your keyboard, and then just click and drag to make a nice, perfect circle, kind of like that. Turn it red and bring the opacity in half, sort of like I have here. This opacity slider will probably be up at 100 when you open it. Bring it down somewhere in half. It doesn't have to be exactly 50%, but like you see I have here 58.4. That, that should work fine. So let's right click on this. Let's go to Duplicate. Let's turn that blue. And let's hold down Control and Shift and just click and drag on one of these corners and bring it down. Let's scale it into about about there. And then we're going to click and drag over this whole thing to select both items. Go to Path and Difference. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a star. Come over here to the Star button and these are the values you want to have inputted. You want to have the Star button selected. You want to have 35 corners and the spoke ratio needs to be 0 0.950 rounded 0, randomized 0. Once you have those values set Hold Control and Shift. Just go ahead and create your star. You want it to be just a little bit bigger than the circle. Not too much bigger, or a little bit. And once you've created your star, click back on your arrow. Hold Shift and click on the red circle so you have them both selected. And let's center them up. Let's center it on the vertical axis by clicking that button. And then on the horizontal axis. Okay, now let's deselect everything. And let's click on just this star. We're going to hold down Control and Shift, click on the arrow. We're going to scale it in a little bit more like this. We want it to be pretty close to the circle, not too close like this. We want to have it about, about out there. I'd say that looks good right there. And once you've done that, come up here to the Stroke tab. Let's click on that. And click on this blue button right here. That's going to turn the stroke on. Come back over to, to the Fill tab. Let's click the X button to turn that off. And then come over to the Stroke Style tab, and let's make that a two-point stroke. So we'll type in two and hit Enter. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to click on this red circle, but first we're going to right-click it. We're going to duplicate it and just move it out of the way for now. We're going to come back and play with this in a minute. And then go back to the original circle. Go over to the Fill tab. Click the X button to turn that off. Come over to the Stroke tab, click on that, and then click on the blue button to turn that on. And come back over to Stroke Style, and let's make that 2 as well. So it's going to be a 2-point stroke, hit 2, and press Enter. So you get something like that. Alright, now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to come back over to this little uh, red ring we created that we duplicated before. And we're going to create another star. So let's click on the Star button. And this time we're going to make the corners to be 100. And we're going to make the spoke ratio to be 0 0.45. And once you have those values set, hold Control and Shift. And let's create that star. Something like that. Click and drag while holding Control and Shift. And it's going to create the star. Uh, let's come over to the Fill tab. Let's turn that on by clicking the blue button and then come over to the stroke tab and turn that off by clicking X so we end up with something like this now come back up to your arrow let's click and drag over the entire thing and let's center it up 
center on vertical axis, center on horizontal axis, and with them both selected still, go to Path and Intersection. And let's turn that black. Now holding Shift, click on this, click on this um, ring in the middle, and let's center that up. Center on vertical axis, center on horizontal axis. So you can see how it's starting to take shape here. Now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to create another circle, but this is going to be inside of this circle. So just click that, hold down your control key and click and drag. Go ahead and create your circle. Come back up to the arrow. Let's hold shift and click on that. And let's center it up on the vertical axis and the horizontal axis and then deselect everything. Now we want to click on just this black circle in the middle that we just created. Hold control and shift and let's click and drag and enlarge this up to about here. You don't want it to be the full size of that ring. You want it to be just inside of that ring like that. All right. The next thing we're going to do, come over here to our Bezier pen. Let's click on that and position it up above this graphic we're creating and bring it over to the side. Click once, hold down control, and just drag the line straight down and then click again and hit enter. And that's going to create a line. The line has to be longer than the length of this graphic we're creating in order to achieve what we're going to do here. So after you've done that, come up to the Stroke Style tab, and let's set that to 2. So type in 2, hit Enter, and let's go to Path, Stroke to Path. Now let's come over to the Arrow button, let's click on that, and let's right-click on this line and go to Duplicate. And after you've done that, hold down your Control key and click and drag it over here, just a little bit out like that and then click and drag over both of them right click it duplicate hold control click and drag them over here and let's do that again click and drag over the whole thing right click duplicate hold control click and drag it out here and you can see where I'm going with this I'm creating a bunch of copies of this let's click and drag over the whole thing and do it again right click duplicate hold control bring it out here and we'll probably have to do this one more time. Click and drag over the whole thing. Right click, duplicate, hold control, click and drag. Don't worry about it being even spaced. We're going to fix that in a minute. So just bring it out here. And after you've gotten, after you've gotten to this point, let's click and drag over the whole thing and come down here to where it says distribute. There's going to be a button right here that says make horizontal gaps between objects equal. We're going to click on that once and it's going to even everything out. It's going to space everything out evenly and then we're going to go to Path Union. Now with that still selected let's click on it again so it brings up the rotation handles and holding your control key click and drag one of those handles around so it comes up it comes like this. We want to go in diagonal perfectly diagonal like that. And come over here and hold shift and click on that black circle in the middle and let's center it up on the vertical axis and the horizontal axis and let's go to path intersection and it's going to create something like that now for the next step we're going to create some text come over here to the create and edit object uh, text objects button let's click on that and just click anywhere on the canvas somewhere down here and let's create some text for the sake of this I'm just going to write elegant you can type whatever you want. You can put your channel name, your company name, your own name, whatever you want. I'm going to use that font. I'm going to use Optimus Princeps as the name of the font. And let's make this hold control and shift and click and drag. Let's make this pretty big. We want this to be we want this to be just about as wide as the star in the background there. So about that big I'd say and once you've done that let's bring it down here and let's create a rectangle over the over the text we just created click on the rectangle box and let's just click and drag over the over the text we just created like that and let's turn it red make sure you size it so that you leave yourself a decent amount of space between the wording and the edge of the rectangle you don't want it be you don't want it to be like tight like this it's not going to work very well if you do that so 
leave yourself some padding like I have here and let's drop that to the bottom by by clicking the lower selection to the bottom button and let's go to path object to path and holding your shift key click on the text so you have both of these selected and let's center them up on the vertical axis and the horizontal axis okay now let's deselect everything and click on just the rectangle now come up here to where it says edit paths by nodes we're going to click on that and it's going to bring up these four points at each corner we're going to click and drag over these left these left two corners right here so we have them both selected and we're going to come up here to this button all the way on the left that says insert new nodes into selected segments we're going to click that once and as you can see it created a new node between those other two so let's come back over here and let's click on just click just the middle one once to select it like that and then hold control and click and drag this middle one over to the right like that to give it a sort of like a indented banner sort of look and then come over here to the right side let's click on these two corners click and drag over them hold control and click and drag these over over here you want it to be about two-thirds of the way through the text so after that let's go to the arrow let's go to edit duplicate and let's flip this flip it horizontally by pressing that button and then hold control and just drag this over here to the outside edge of the text and then we're going to hold shift and click on the other red piece that we created and we're going to we're going to uh, unify them go to path union and hold shift or yeah hold shift and click on the text and let's center it up again center on vertical axis center on horizontal axis and as you can see we just created uh, a symmetrical ribbon sort of uh, effect to, to overlay on this so the next thing we'll do is let's click on this make sure you have your arrow selected click on this red uh, ribbon and let's go up to the stroke paint and let's turn that on by clicking that button and let's come over to the fill tab and hit the X button to turn that off and then come over to stroke style and we're gonna make this a two-point stroke as well so hit two and enter and then let's right click this and go to duplicate and then go to path stroke to path path break apart path union and then let's turn that red for now and come over to the stroke paint tab again and let's turn that on by clicking that button and then come over to stroke style and let's make this about 10 we're gonna make this one about 10 um, that's kinda of small let's try 12 12 maybe 14 I think 14 yeah 14 looks good so let's go to let's set it to 14 and then go to path stroke to path path break apart path union and then come back over to the stroke paint tab let's click on that and let's turn the stroke back on let's turn that on by pressing that button come over to the fill turn that off and then come back over to the stroke style tab and let's make that two and then you could see what we just did here now let's click and drag over this whole thing and let's go to path stroke to path and then let's do the same thing over here let's click and drag over this whole thing path stroke to path and you know what let's unionize this let's go to path union so we unify everything together like that and we're gonna come over here we're gonna click and drag over this whole thing and we're gonna group it together by clicking the group button up here and holding down your shift key click on our little graphic over there and let's center them up click on center on vertical axis center on horizontal axis and you can see we just put it we just put everything on top of each other now let's deselect everything oops I hit the wrong thing I accidentally hit save hit deselect everything and click on our ribbon and let's ungroup that and let's then deselect everything again and click on just this outside border of the ribbon just that outside border and then go to edit duplicate then go to path break apart path union and then holding your shift key click on our background graphic and let's go to 
path difference. And that's going to punch a hole through that so that we can so that our text becomes visible and the, and the banner effect takes place. So after that, let's click and drag over everything and let's bring the opacity all the way up. All the way up to 100 like that. Uh, you could leave it black. I like to make it the, the next shade down, like the 90% gray. I like how that looks. And let's click on the outside ribbon, then hold shift and click on that graphic and let's duplicate that. Let's go to path, union, path, break apart, path, union, and let's um, let's turn that red for now. Let's turn that red, drop it to the bottom where it says lower selection to the bottom. We're going to click on that once and come over here to the stroke tab. Let's turn that on. Let's make that a size uh, maybe five. Yeah, that should work. A size 5 stroke. And let's go to path, stroke to path, path, break apart, path, union. And let's click on everything in the middle here and start turning that white. So I'm going to turn that white. I'm going to turn this white. And as you can see, we're now done. So that's how you can create uh, an elegant style badge sort of logo in Inkscape. So if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll be glad to help you out. Thanks for watching.